Hello, everybody. Welcome to a session of Fit Essentials Basics class. My name is Shauna. I'll be taking you through. Before we jump into it, here's our disclaimer. You're about to engage in intense physical activity. Proceed with caution. Do not attempt to perform any movements or activity that may exceed your current physical capabilities. Participants with injuries, high blood pressure, chronic health conditions, recent chest pain, or that have any other condition that may limit your ability to participate, please consult your physician or health care provider before proceeding. All right, we're gonna proceed up to our feet. Or you could start seated, however you feel most comfortable. All right, we start every class the same, breathing. So we're gonna bring our feet underneath our hips. Hi, Emily, hands in front of the chest. Feel free to close the eyes if you're comfortable. We're gonna breathe in, reaching up to overhead. Fill the lungs with air and then exhale. Let all your worries, concerns, let that to-do list go. Just bring yourself here into the movements. And then twice more, breathe and reach. And exhale, relax. Beautiful, last time, breathing in, just reaching straight up, trying to lift up out of your hips and then open those shoulders, squeeze those shoulder blades together as you open through the chest. Fantastic. From here, we're just gonna start to step the feet side to side and swing the arms side to side. Cross them over, open through the chest. Alternate which arm crosses on top as you close it in. There we go. And then just keep that breathing going. As I open, that's when I tend to exhale. Breathe in, exhale to open. Breathe in, exhale to open. Good job. Couple more times, side to side. Fantastic. From here, let's place one hand on the hip. Get a little bit of bend into those knees. Opposite hand, you're either gonna reach kind of across your body or reach up to overhead, whatever feels best for you. We're looking to stretch out the side. So hand towards the shoulder, reaching across, you kind of just peer up towards the ceiling. Hand to the shoulder and reaching across three to five times and then we'll switch sides, pulling it down and in, reaching up and across. Once more, breathe and reach. Fantastic. Before we go to the other side, let's circle those hips around. <laughs> Hello, Miss Barbie doll waving into the camera. <laughs> well, we'll have to get Emily and my mom on like a little uh, show with their little trinkets and things. <laughs> Reverse directions when you're ready. Same thing, other side. For those of you not able to see the screen, I had a little Barbie doll poking in the scene. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Once you swivel those hips both directions, we're gonna go side stretch on that opposite side now. So again, you can kind of reach across the body if that feels better for your shoulders, or when you're ready, start to reach to overhead. Try to turn your head, kind of like peer up towards that hand as you reach, bringing it down and gradually reaching across. Breathe in to close and exhale to open. Let's get one more there. Fantastic, all right. Relax those arms down, kind of move your feet around just a little bit. And now we're gonna go into our gates of heaven. So our arms are heavy. Just kind of let them swing. Like they don't really have a whole lot of weight to them or at least strength to them. But the hips are our guide here. So the hips are guiding around and the arms just kind of swinging against the body. Fantastic. About 10 more seconds here. We're gonna do a little bit of balance work next. So if you need a chair, a wall, anything to balance on, go ahead and make your way there. If your balance is pretty secure, then that's fantastic as well. Place one foot down, lift up through your midline. You can hold those arms out to the side. We're gonna pick one foot up and without that hip kicking out, we're gonna go ahead and roll that ankle around. You can also sit down for this as well if it feels better for your body. Good job, you can check the balance as needed or just start to roll that ankle the other way. Woo, hello doll in the red dress. <laughs> Fantastic, all right guys, let's switch legs. Before we go right to that other leg, instead of circling the hips, we're gonna rock those hips side to side. Just stretching the side of the hip a little bit. We got Shamu in the camera saying hello now. Mm. Takes me back to going to SeaWorld as a kid in Ohio. All right, place that opposite foot down, grip the toes, lift up through that midline once again, and pull those shoulders back. That's gonna help your balance. And now we'll go ankle rolls, same thing other side. Three to five one way, 
Good, and three to five the other. Well done, go ahead and place that down and relax. Now we're gonna walk both feet in so the toes are pointing straight ahead. My feet are basically straight underneath those hips. Get a little bit of bend into those knees, heels are planted. You can either go arms over the shoulders or if you're good to open that chest, hands behind the head. Standing tall, I'm gonna send those hips back. So long spine, flat back, bowing forward, peering towards the floor, and then standing tall, squeeze the glutes as you stand up. Bowing forward, holding that chest tall and standing up. And just go far enough down here. I have a little bit of bend in my knees, so I don't wanna hyperextend the knees and just far enough that you're like, there's those hamstrings and then stand up. One to two more, over and up. If you tend to get dizzy, find a spot straight ahead that you're focused on as you stand. Last time and straight up, fantastic. All right, folks, so either the sidestep with the arm swing or if you're good for that overhead position, we'll go into basically like a step jack here. If anybody wants more dynamic exercise, you could do a traditional jumping jack. But for this basics class, we demo everything stepping and standing for the most part, meaning that we don't get down on the floor for a whole lot of stretching. Fantastic, got another 10 seconds here, opening those shoulders, side step. We're gonna go into a march next. We're gonna start with a paused march. So check in with that posture, nice and tall. Let's go your left arm with your right leg, one arm up. And we're gonna be very intentional here to start. It's kind of like you're moving through some mud here. So nice and slow, hips and shoulders square, one side to the next. Very good. Breathe, down and switch. <laughs> Fantastic. You guys can't see my entertainment here. I've got some fun dolls flying through the screen. I love it. All right, folks, from that pause march, uh, we're gonna take a break for a second. We're gonna stretch those hamstrings and we'll do a different variation. One heel down, one toe up, heel down, toe up, and then either over the shoulders or behind the head once again, single leg hamstring stretch. So bowing forward with that one leg outstretched three to five times here. And again, just far enough that you're like, hey, hamstrings, I feel you there. Kind of pause for just a moment when you feel that stretch and then standing tall, one to two more. Send those hips back, flat back, long spine, straight up and last one, over and up. Very good, same thing, opposite foot. So lifting up behind the head or across the shoulders, three to five here. And sit the weight back on the heel of the support foot, grip the toes down, one to two more. We're gonna go into our march and punch neck. So standing tall, pull those shoulders back and we're gonna go opposite arm, opposite foot, punching across the body to try to hold the hands up at the shoulders. And then when you punch, keep that fist right about the level of the shoulders. Right side of the body with the left side of the body. Trying to keep the heat, excuse me if I can find my words. Try to keep the knees and hips square as you twist through the upper body just slightly. Wonderful. Breathe. Couple more. Fantastic. Very good. All right, back to a little bit of balance work. We're gonna go same side knee to elbow. So standing tall, pick a side you wanna start on. I'm gonna reach that arm straight up to overhead and then I'm gonna lift up through my midline as I pull my knee towards that same side elbow. So lifting up, standing tall, knee towards the same side elbow. Good job. I'm gonna avoid that hip kicking out. We're gonna do about 30 seconds here, reaching up, stretching as you stand. So you can even kind of reach that foot back behind you just a little bit, knee towards the elbow. If you can't quite reach, just do the best you can. Up and in, squeeze this glute as you reach that foot back. One more, very good. Shake it out, rocking side to side. Just getting those hips to wiggle around just a little bit. And then when you're ready, same thing, other arm, reaching straight up. And this would be, I could just kind of balance on my bookshelf here as needed, elbow to the knee. 
we're looking to avoid this kind of a kick with the hip. So you want to really keep that hip level. Don't let yourself drop into that hip joint. Stretch it long. Breathing through. Good. And like a standing crunch here. Elbow towards that same side knee. Very nice. Couple more. Very nice. And either our step jacks or our, we call these seal jacks when our arms are kind of to the side. Very good. Taking a break if you need or stepping it out. All right, we're gonna have one more piece of this warm up before we do a little bit of stretching and get ready for our first set. And we're gonna go alternating knee to elbow. So this is a little challenging on that balance still if you need to stand next to something. But the idea here is going to be with the arms up to the side, lifting up through the midline. Now we're going to go whoop, work that balance, knee towards the opposite elbow and stand. You could also do this seated, right? Where you're getting that core control, elbow towards the opposite knee. Feel free to take a seat if you need a break. Or we're going to go 30 more seconds here. Elbow towards that opposite knee. It's all right if you can't quite touch. Working on that balance. And grip those toes down on that support leg. That's going to help support the arch of the foot. Let's get your ankle secure. And that works its way up the chain of support. So the ankle impacts the knee. The knee impacts the hip. The hip impacts your spine all the way up the chain. Maybe one more. Very good. Shake it out, folks. If you have some water nearby, let's grab a drink. Fantastic. We're going to give some attention to our hip flexors next. So we're going to stand in a stagger stance. I'm going to keep my feet hip width apart. Step one foot back. Let's step your right foot back. You're going to take your right hand to your left shoulder. Pull that elbow down and into your side. And from here, lifting up out of the spine, shift the hip forward and rotate toward your front leg. So I really want to get this glute to activate on the back. Squeeze that glute. Push the hip forward and then turn your body towards that lead leg. Two to three more, rock it back, rock it forward and rotate. Back, forward, squeezing that glute, encourage the front of the hip to open and switch. Good job. Pivot around, same thing, opposite side. Hand to the opposite shoulder, elbow down and in, shift that hip and rotate. Just subtle here. You really want to open those hips. They get really tight, especially if you sit a lot throughout the day, which many of us do. Give me one more here and release. Good job. Walk the feet in now. So the toes are pointing straight ahead, hands on the thighs. Stand tall up out of the spine. Have a little bit of bend in those knees so you're not locked out in the knees. And now pull the chin into the chest. This time we're gonna round down. So letting the hands slide down, stretching out, seeing where's your in position today. Can you touch your ankles? Can you touch your toes? Are you like, oh heck no lady, I'm at my knees. That's okay. And then when you're ready, make your way back up, standing tall. Looking straight ahead as you come up. And then we're just simply gonna roll those shoulders up and back and kind of put the whole arms into it. So lifting those shoulders up towards your ears and then sending them back and down the spine, up and around, up and back. We want that shoulder blade to be able to move along the rib cage. A lot of times it gets stuck and it doesn't get that glide anymore. And then we have trouble reaching up to overhead, you can feel like impingement type of symptoms in the shoulder. So we wanna keep them moving. All right, we're gonna repeat that toe touch once more. Standing tall, chin to the chest, and little bend of the knees, reaching down. Sometimes you'll get a little bit farther on the second time. And if you're someone that has a really hard time getting very much below the knees, as we get ready for our first circuit, you know, make some adjustments. You may not wanna take your weight all the way to the floor. All right, make your way up, if you haven't already. And then this last thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna place the hands on the low back, a little bend in those knees, allow the hips to just gently shift forward, but you really gotta fire the glutes. And then just, if you can, peer up towards the ceiling. 
Stay long for the spine, so I don't want you to sink into your low back, but just looking up, a little bit of an extension, and then release when you're ready. Good job. All right, everybody. So we're getting ready for some deadlifts, which sometimes just hearing that freaks people out. Like, what? You want to think about picking something up off the ground. That's a deadlift. So if you have some dumbbells to use, a jug of water, you know, whatever makes sense for you, it's going to be a sumo deadlift. So the feet nice and wide. So we're going to do three rounds of this deadlift, and I'm going to talk about the push up in between the deadlifts. But let's go ahead. If you're not quite ready, you don't know what we're doing, just watch until you do. We're going to go 30 seconds of a deadlift, and then we'll move into position. We're going to do an elevated push up, but if you know it from the ground, feel free. So standing tall, sending those hips back, knees slightly bent, but now we want to be flat in the back. Two, one, and here we go. Standing straight up, squeeze the glutes, sending those hips back, bringing your weight kind of right between the feet, straight up. If you don't have anything to pick up, you can just move as if you do. You'll still get some benefit by encouraging your body into these rhythms, into these motions. Looking down, squeeze the glutes, looking straight ahead. Yep. Flat back, so bending at the hips, meaning I push my hips back, like I'm trying to touch my butt to the wall behind me. Squeeze the glutes as you stand straight up. I like the child deadlifts. Over, last one, and straight up. Fantastic. All right, push-ups are next. So I'm gonna do it from the side of the couch here. You're gonna place the hands right underneath the shoulders, walk the feet back as comfortable. And then when you're ready, you're gonna lower your chest towards the couch or the floor or wherever you are, countertop, and then pushing away. People tend to wing those elbows wide. Try to keep them in, pull your shoulder blades back, and then pushing straight away. All right, if you haven't joined me, let's go ahead and two, one, here we go. If you already started, I'll let you know when you hit that 30. Breathe and watch the low back. So we tend to arch the back when it gets tough on that push up. Those of you that started when I was demonstrating, that's your 30. Everybody else has about 10 more seconds, pushing straight away. Elbows come in. Very good. Let's go one more if you're up for it and go ahead and rest. Nice job. Shake it out. We're gonna take about 30 seconds here. So grab a little bit of water if it's convenient. If you need to make any changes with your weights, you can. And this time I'm gonna hold two weights. So it's gonna be the same idea. I'm just gonna hold two smaller weights in each hand. Standing tall, set the feet nice and wide just outside the hips. And two, one, here we go. Little bend to the knees, long spine bowing forward. Squeeze the glutes standing straight up, yep. Over and down. And I'm watching you all here that are live with me, but if you're doing the work, instead of staring at the screen, try to look down and then looking straight ahead the top. So over and up. And you're using that upper body to keep the weight close to your center of gravity. You don't want it to swing way away. Give me one more. Over and up. Beautiful. Go ahead and rotate. We'll take 15 seconds to switch positions for the push up. This is our second of three sets. We're gonna place the hands underneath the shoulders, walk the feet back, and two, one, here we go. If you don't feel ready to lower down, if it bothers your shoulders, you can also hold the top of the push up. So you're still gonna be pushing with the upper body just to hold your body in this plank position. There's always a way to make it so that it's something that you can do without hurting your body. So be smart. Couple more. Pulling those shoulder blades down your rib cage as you lower and go ahead and rest and rotate. Nice work. We'll take 30 seconds again and then we'll have that final round. All right. And if anyone doesn't feel good, like picking weight up off the ground, you can do that movement that we did in the beginning where you're bowing forward, call it the waiter's bow or a good morning. You can just bow forward, practice the motion without weights. Otherwise, going in five, feet nice and wide, tall chest, two, one, here we go. Straight up, over down. 
So pull the belly button in as you bow forward. Keep that core engaged. That's what support your spine. All those small muscles, and some of them are large. Very nice. Pushing the knees out, keeping the shins nice and vertical. Maybe one more over and down and straight up. Fantastic. Well, and a rest and rotate, final set of push ups. All righty. Make a nice wide handprint. So splay your fingers like you're trying to make a nice big starfish with the hands. Place them underneath those shoulders. Two, one, and here we go. Either holding that plank in the top or elbows come in. Avoid that winging elbow position. Chin in. Try to have your gaze focused right between your wrists. So looking straight down. Pulling the belly button in the whole time. Keeping that low back neutral. And two, one, rest and rotate. Nice work. All right, we're gonna open up the chest, kind of stretch out from the push-ups there, either behind the back stretch, interlacing the hands, or as needed, you can always grab a, grab a band or anything to help interlace those hands. A scarf works great as well. Set the feet about hip width apart, extend those arms out, lifting up. And then with a bend of those knees, you can either stay here, just pulling those arms up, opening the chest, or you can add that forward fold, right? Bow forward and then lift the arms up. Make sure you have a bend in your knees, gripping those toes down, heels are planted. Nice deep breaths. Good job. Let me come up and release when you're ready, shaking it out. All right, so we're gonna stretch out the hips just a little bit. We're getting ready for some squatting next. So you can do these stretches on the floor if you know them or join me in a chair. In a chair or on the couch, however you wanna do it. All right, so we're gonna start with what we call our glute stretch. So if you're lying on your back, you're gonna pull the knee towards the same sh side shoulder. Sitting here, you're gonna pull the knee up towards the chest, and then we're gonna to try to hook the foot around. If you're on the floor, just pull the knee towards the opposite shoulder. So we're looking to feel it in the outer hip here, just kind of driving the foot across, pulling the knee in, looking to just gently stretch the glute here. Breathe. Couple more breaths. And relax, good job. Same thing, other side. Up and in and taking it across. Eyes up, just kind of breathing through it. Good job, one more nice deep breath here and relax. You can either repeat that stretch or we're gonna go a little bit deeper into what we call figure four. So you're gonna work your foot onto the opposite thigh, either walk that foot in or if those of you that might be on the floor, hug that leg in. And then you're just gonna allow this knee to drop down, sitting nice and tall. We'll hold 20 seconds here. Just allow it to gradually open. Good time to just close the eyes for a moment. Let the eyes relax. One more breath. And switch. Good job. Same thing, other side. Pulling that foot up, bringing it across. Sit tall or lay back. Good job. 20 seconds here. Very nice, about 10 more seconds. Fantastic, go ahead and release out of that one. Very good. So next we're gonna come back to stand here. If you're on the floor, we're gonna go quad stretch next. You could go ahead and stay on the floor if you'd like. Those of you standing, we're gonna grab the foot, but if you're like, I can't get that foot lady, repeat that stretch we did earlier in that stagger stance where you're pushing your hip forward and rotating. 
Otherwise, you want to grab that foot, pull the heel up. We're looking to stretch that front of the thigh. So let's hold here for 20. You need to shake it out before then, by all means. So a lot of times, if you have knee stiffness, it can be the quads and hip flexors can be the culprit. When those guys get tight, it adds more tension around the knees. So you want to make a point throughout the day, stretch those quads out, help keep that tension down around that knee. And release. Good job. Same thing, other side. Lifting up through the hip. Either grabbing that foot or remember that alternative, standing in that stagger. So it doesn't quite get deep into that quad, but it does help open up that hip. Another alternative is to use a strap on the ankle. That's usually best on the floor though, lying down. 10 more seconds here. Two, one, and relax. Good job, shake it out. Now we're gonna warm up our squats. If you're pretty confident in your squat, don't worry about having a support, but if you're like, oh, it's hard for me to get down there, then hold on to something. Preferably making sure obviously it's secure enough to balance. We're gonna walk the feet out so they're about just outside the hips. And now instead of the toes straight on, just a slight toe out that's gonna help open up the hip joint. You can either reach the arms straight out or grab onto that support, pushing the, keeping those heels down. I'm lowering my hips back now, dropping the hips as low as I'm confident, pushing those knees nice and wide. So whenever you're ready, taking your time, reaching those arms out or holding on, sinking back and standing tall. So squatting is one of those positions that we oftentimes lose if you're not training it. We sit in chairs all the time and we don't have that ability that those kids do anymore to just hang out in the bottom of the squat. But despite some of the different myths, it actually is intended and it's safe, you know, depending upon your body. Some people certainly have some limitations, but shake it out. All right, folks. So what we're doing next is some squatting. You can go just body weight squats or you can use some weight, all right? And you can either squat like we just did there, or if you're like, I don't feel confident there, then squat to a chair. So you would sit back, try not to plop, just lightly lower and stand. And ideally, in an ideal world, you would lower your target throughout. So when I was in the gym with people, we had all boxes of all different heights and we would gradually try to lower them to different boxes. You gotta make adjustments for you. We're gonna be doing a squat and a bent over row. Actually, let me keep my chair out. So for that bent over row, you can either support here and then have your arm for the row or without the chair, you can do it with just a standing lunge, hand on the opposite thigh. Okay. So we're gonna squat and then we're gonna row on each arm. We're gonna go 30 seconds for each. Any questions before we start? All right, and you can either go unweighted with your squats or you can hold weights up at the shoulders, either one on each side or you can hold one right underneath the chin. All right, folks, set those feet about hip width apart, eyes looking straight ahead, two, one, and here we go, sinking back, push those knees wide, standing tall, very good. Rather than speed here and more control, more focused on Control of that movement and focusing on that range of motion. So control down and stand. Fantastic. Pull those hips down, grip the toes. So keep that ankle supported. Give me one more. Down, down, down. Fantastic, Laura. And rest. Good job. Bent over rows are next. Let's start in the left arm. So I'm gonna stay on my feet about hip width apart. I'm gonna support my hand on the chair. Remember that lunge position works too. And when you're ready, elbow straight up towards the ceiling. Reach forward, elbow high. Good job. And always paying attention to that midline. So avoiding that low back from arching, pulling the belly in as you row with the upper body. Reach forward, pull high. As you row that elbow up, think shoulder blade down the body, shoulders out of the ears. One more, two, one, and rest. Good job. Just stand up in between arms. Give your body a break from that bent over posture. 
And then same thing, other side. You can support that hand down. Two, one, and here we go. Elbow straight up, reach forward. Breathe. So I like to breathe in as I reach and then exhale on that row. It's good practice to pause in the top of that row, help encourage that shoulder blade back and down, strengthening that mid back. Breathe in and exhale, two, one, and relax. Beautiful. We're gonna take 30 seconds before we go back to those squats. This is the second of three rounds. Time to grab some water, make any adjustments you need for weights if you choose. Ten seconds till we begin. So you can squat to the chair or without. Set those feet about hip width apart, slight toe out, two, one, and here we go. Controlling down, drive those knees wide. Good job. Be patient with yourself now. Control, building that strength. And especially into the bottom of the movements, it helps build the strength in your tendons by moving with control and not just rapid fire. So chest up, eyes up. Beautiful. And two, one, rest and rotate. Good job, back to that single arm row. Either supporting on the chair or in that long lunge. Three, two, one, and begin. Elbow straight up, reaching forward. Pull that shoulder down out of the ears as you pull that elbow high. Good, breathe. Pausing in the top position. Nice job, couple more, up and in, and two, one. Let's go ahead and stand it up in between arms. Woo. Nice deep breaths. Same thing, other side. Two, one, and here we go. End of set two. Reaching forward, pulling straight up. Nice work, halfway, keep pulling that shoulder down as you row. Moving well, a couple more. Remember to get that pause in the top, squeeze it in and release. Good job. We'll take our 30 seconds, water break. Whew. One more time through. If you're like, I'm done with that, then just give yourself a break. Rest a little bit longer. Otherwise, we're gonna go into that final set of squats here in 10 seconds. So set the feet about hip width apart, slight toe out, begin when you're ready. Push those knees wide as you lower. And not so wide they, they go beyond your feet, right? You want the feet and, and the knees to basically be in alignment with each other. Looks good. Very nice. Keeping that chest up. Fantastic. And two, one, and relax. Awesome, final round of rowing. Left arm first. Three, two, one, here we go. Look straight down, kind of with the support arm. Up and in, pausing in the top. Breathe in as you reach forward. Exhale on that row. Breathe. Down and up. Two, one, relax in between arms. Woo. 
Nice job, everybody. This is that final bit of the second circuit. All right, and two, one, here we go. Opposite arm, last time on the rows. Reach and row straight up with the elbow. Very nice, reaching forward. 10 seconds. Two, one, and release. Woo! All right, let's grab some water. Okay. So final circuit, we're gonna have three rounds. In the last group, the first exercise we did was a reverse lunge. We're gonna do some balance work in this group. If some of you on the line are confident with lunging, you can always do some lunges instead. Otherwise, we're gonna be doing our sway, switching side to side, okay? From the sway to our lateral step over, imaginary object up and over, okay? And then you can either repeat the squatting, sitting and standing, you could do a traditional sit up or you see I've got my couch here on set today. You can lay down and then practice getting up off the couch, right? Or you'll roll over, sit up, stand up. And then you would do the same thing on the other side. Feet extended, lay down. You wanna reach the arms up, you can. That helps the sit up and all the way up. All right, real quick, those of you that are doing the sit up, I just wanna kind of identify some things. I don't want to see like this crunch posture where you're all hunched back at the top, sit tall up out of your hips. So sit back, head touches the ground, arms reach overhead, and then sit tall. I'm going to be demoing the version on the couch. Okay. And then depending upon how you feel after those couch and the sit ups, you can either take a minute off or you can join us for a march. You can march with weight oops, or without. So with weight, I can hold it up at my chest, help me keep nice and tall. And that will be our circuit. Sway, step overs, get ups or sit ups, and then our march. Any questions? All right, 45 seconds for each, 15 seconds in between. You can always change up it for yourself as you need. All right, let's go ahead and come up to your feet if you're taking a rest. We're starting with that sway or the lunges for anyone that knows them. All right, on that sway, lift tall, pull those shoulders back, arms out to the side, and two, one, here we go. You're swaying to one side, lift and hold, and then switching side to side here. Grip the toes down, lift and hold, nice. If you're like, this isn't too bad, if you want a little bit more challenge, close your eyes. And then it's a game changer. <laughs> yeah, over and up. So I'm continuing to lift up through that midline. Grip those toes down. That's 30 seconds. Either rest there or keep with us for another 15. Fantastic. 10 seconds left. Up and hold. If those arms need a rest, do it. And two, one, and relax. Good job. We're going to do our step overs next. So it'll be our imaginary objects. Standing nice and tall. And whenever you're ready, up and over. Kind of open through those hips. So kind of exaggerate how high you're confident to bring that knee up and over. It helps give a nice opening through the hips. So it's like up and across. Nice. There we go. As you lift the knee, think about lifting the foot and the toes as well. <laughs> and if your arms are getting tired, mine are too. Funny how just holding the arms out will challenge that upper body. Keep squeezing those shoulder blades together. If you need to shake it out, do it. That's 30 seconds. You can rest there or keep moving for 15 more. If you're doing the sit up, get up off the couch. If you need to make your way there, go for it. And two, one, there's our rest. All right, either traditional sit ups on the floor 
You can sit down, stand up out of the chair if your squat, if your couch is not convenient. And three, two, one, here we go. If you're on the couch, try to reach the arms up. And just a matter of getting up. What do you need to do to get up off the couch, up off the ground? Great job. Some of you are doing that sit up option. That's fantastic as well. Over and up. If you're on the couch here with me, we'll alternate which side we put our head to. So I put my head to one side, roll over, get up, and I make my way across. That's 30 seconds, everybody. Sit up and get up. We're training for life here. We gotta be able to get up and down, off the ground, off the couch. Maybe one more. Three, two, one, and rotate. So you could take a minute off here if you want a little extra rest. If you like to keep yourself moving the whole time, we're gonna go into that weighted march or an unweighted march next. Three, two, one, here we go. So by all means, please feel free to take a seat. <laughs> Especially if you were out walking those dogs for a couple miles this morning, like I know Laura does. <laughs> she got her steps in. Breathing through it, knees up, feet up. Lots of marching today. It's lateral step overs, marching straight on. Very good. That's 30 seconds. We're 30 seconds away from starting that next round. So if you want more rest, take it. Keep breathing. And three, two, one, that's our 45 seconds. Very nice, 15 seconds till we're into set two of three, back to our sway. All right, standing tall, eyes straight ahead, arms come out to the side, and here we go. Pulling up, shift and pause. Working on that balance. Yep. One side to the next. Wonderful, reach, lift. And we don't wanna fall over, right? We wanna just hold. If you're practicing switching your weight from leg to leg, practicing that balance and control of the lower foot. Especially as you start to get a little more fatigued here, you're gonna feel a little bit more wobbly. All right, we're almost at that 45 and two, one, and relax. Very nice. Step overs are next. Whew. Hips are getting a little bit tired. Standing tall, shoulders back, two, one, here we go. Stepping up and across. If you don't feel confident to step up high, that's all right, just do a little short side step. You know, depending upon what you've been doing recently, it might be really foreign to step to the side. So meet your body where it's at. If you are pretty confident here, then drive that knee nice and high, open through the hip. Pretend you're stepping over a nice big log in the forest. I always prefer to be in the forest than indoors. Well, I'm in Colorado and it's cold outside, so maybe not fully right now. That's 30 seconds in. You can shake it out or another 15 here if you're going that full bit. We're getting ready for our sit-ups or get-ups next. Two, one, and transition. Whew. So remember, you can always like sit up and down off a chair if you don't have anywhere to lie down. As you lay back, arms up to overhead, and here we go. You can roll to the side to get up, whatever you need to do. We're just practicing. Standing up. And this is one it's kind of common to get dizzy on. So have something straight ahead that you focus on as you sit up, whether you're doing traditional sit-ups or the up and down off the couch. Good job. Laying back, reach those arms overhead. Let the head rest back before you come back up. Nice work. That's 30 seconds. Lay down, get up. Whew. And just under 10 seconds. Two, one, and transition. 
either take that minute off or getting ready for the march. You can hold weight if you'd like. I'm gonna do that march and punch version this time like we did in our warm up. Two, one, here we go. So we're gonna march and punch or weighted or we're resting. Good job, breathing through it. If you're doing that march and punch, reaching across the body, keeping that hand up at shoulder height. Nice Hunter, that's the way, good work. Reaching across, woo. Breathing through. That's 30 seconds. If you wanna take a little bit longer break, 30 seconds until we start that last round. Two, one, and that's 45. Woo. All right, shake out those arms, kind of rest the hips for a second. Final time through, going back to our sway in 10 seconds. All right, walk those feet about hip width apart, standing tall. And here we go, lifting up. One side to the other, looking straight ahead. And I haven't talked about it yet this hour, but this is a good time just to smile. Anytime you feel a little awkward or anytime you feel challenged, if you meet it with a smile instead of some criticism, that's gonna help your body just to, and mind mostly, just to wanna come back and do it again. That's 30 seconds. If we're always really harsh on ourselves and beating ourselves up every time we feel like we're doing something wrong, then that makes our motivation that much harder to come back to it. Cause it's like, man, you were really mean to me when I did that, even if it's to yourself and rest. Good job. <laughs> Lateral step overs. And exercise can be a trigger for a lot of people. There's a lot of stories we have from our past about exercises. Three, two, one, here we go. But we can always rewrite our stories. So if all we have are memories from gym class, wanting to hide in the corner or hide in the locker room, then we're not really motivated to move our bodies. But we realize what it provides us, strength, freedom, confidence in our bodies, ability to play with our kids and our grandkids and our pets as we get older, maybe climb some mountains. You gotta have your why, you gotta know why do we do something? That's 30 seconds, everyone. Feel free to rest there or keep stepping. Knees up, feet up. Don't forget to smile. Good for the brain, happy hormones going through and release. Good job, last round of sit-ups. Sit up, stand up. Head rest back, arms reach up, two, one, here we go. Sit tall or roll across. Just this one and we'll finish with a final march and then a final stretch. Whew, good job. And maybe if you're doing these couch sit-ups, if I make it look a little bit easier than you, then that's okay. It's my job to make this look easy. <laughs> Fitness is what I do for a livelihood. That's halfway, folks. Do what you need to do for you. Just getting on the ground or on the couch, getting up off the couch. You can kind of just roll over, push up. Two, one, and rotate. All right, final march. I'm gonna go back to a weighted march. If you like that march and punch that we did last set, feel free to repeat that. Three, two, one, finishing it out. All right, final 45 seconds, and then we'll just end with some stretching for the cool down. So stay focused here, eyes up, knees up, feet up, breathe through it. That's 20 seconds. Good job. Nice quick cadence, Kelly. Good work. Awesome. Woo. Less than 10 seconds. Two, one, and we are all done. Woo. Good work, good work. All right, water for everybody. Even if you're not
not that hot. Stay hydrated. Great job, Hunter. All right, folks. Um, let's go ahead. If you can come back to standing, we're going to open up the upper body a little bit. All right, we're going to stretch the upper body best we can. You can either stand with your feet hip width apart or go back to that stagger stance if you feel stable there. Whichever leg you have back, you're going to reach that arm straight up and then watch your torso here. Stay tall, bend that elbow, grab that elbow. You're going to stretch that tricep. And if you're comfortable to bend to the side, we call it the tricep side bend. Just gently leaning towards the side, away from the side that you're stretching. Good job. Breathe in and then exhale as you come to the side. One more if you're up for it. And release. Good job. Go ahead and shake those arms out. Shoulders down. Fantastic. If you like that stagger stance, opposite foot steps back. Same thing, other arm. Reaching up, pull that chin in, lengthen through the spine as you bend the elbow. Grab and then bending towards that lead leg or the opposite side if you're on a straight stance. Ooh, good job. Opening that upper body. Good work. One more time and release. We're going to repeat that quad stretch that we did earlier. So stretching out those quads once again after the squatting work that we did. So best you can grab the foot or remember what's the alternative that stagger stance. 20 seconds here. And sometimes it's not the like exercises with the weights and stuff that challenges people's mental outlook, but it, it can be the stretches that we become really hard on ourselves. I was talking to one lady that comes to the evening classes and she's like, whenever we do those rotational stretches, I just, it feels so hard. Release and switch. And then the funny part was, is that we will, I was on Zoom with her. I watched her do the stretch on Zoom and she was, she felt like she was doing it wrong, but she wasn't. So it's kind of interesting how we can criticize our, ourselves sometimes when we're not even doing anything wrong. It just doesn't feel right. We haven't done it much. Nice deep breaths. And go ahead and release. Fantastic. Alrighty, next, you can take a seat for this one if you'd like. Or you can do a standing toe touch, whatever you feel more comfortable with, but we're gonna stretch out that low back a little bit. If you're taking a seat, put your feet a little bit wider than your hips, and then we're gonna slide the hands down the legs and reaching down for the floor. Breathing into the back. If you're sitting on the floor, you can kind of sit in like a straddle position or legs out in front, whatever you prefer. And breathe. One more breath there, and then just gradually make your way up. <laughs> Let that blood come back to the head. All right, next we're gonna go back to the upper body with our eagle arms. So we're gonna reach the arms wide. Let's take your right hand underneath your left. So you'll be mirroring me. Interlace those hands best you can. We're gonna push one down as we push one up. And you wanna feel it on the outer part of the shoulder, just on one side. Nice deep breaths here, pushing down, pulling up just to get a gentle stretch in that outer shoulder. And release when you're ready, good job. Same thing, other side, stretch it wide. Your left comes under this time, interlace, push down, pull up. Continue to check in with that posture, sitting tall. Go ahead and close those eyes. and release, fantastic. A little bit of some rotational work. Your right hand to the left thigh, you can either keep that foot on the ground or if you wanna go deeper into the twist, you can cross that leg over. Your right hand to the right shoulder, we're gonna sit tall and now we're gonna circle this elbow around. 
Encourage that shoulder blade up and down the spine, lengthening through the spine as you rotate around, just to get a nice gentle twist here. Turn your head as well if you're not kind of looking over the side that you're rotating that elbow. Couple more. And release. Good job. Same thing, other side. So we are last one. So either with the foot flat or you can cross it over, sit tall and twisting around. Breathing through. Shoulders can really be some problem areas for people, but movement is medicine in many ways. Our body needs to move. It's just a matter of using your intuition and some guidance on how do we best move our bodies. So once you finish those rotations, go ahead and relax. Thank you very much, everybody. If you're a little bit stiff in the neck, you can always add to that up and down, side to side, you know, anything else that your body might feel like it needs. Otherwise, stay hydrated, stay healthy, and hope to see you all next week.